Hello all, welcome to Paritranaya. In this class, we shall discuss about macroeconomic framework statement. In the previous class, we have discussed about budget and we have understood that the term budget does not exist in our constitution and instead of budget, there is a term called as annual financial statement. And this annual financial statement, is it speaks about the revenue, receipts and expenditure of the government. So here, this we have seen that annual financial statement is presented to Loka Sabha by finance minister. So along with annual financial statement, uh, our finance ministry also presents many other documents and among the other documents, one important document is macroeconomic framework statement. Now the next question is whether constitution speaks about macroeconomic framework statement? No. In our constitution, there is no term called as macroeconomic framework statement. Then why do the finance minister present this report or information related to this? Because it is mandated by another act called as Fiscal Responsibility and Budget Management Act. So as this act says that whenever uh, annual financial statement is being presented, it, uh, uh, macroeconomic framework statement should also be presented. So uh, because of this mandation, finance minister presents this macroeconomic framework statement along with the annual financial statement to Loka Sabha. Now the next question is, what is this macroeconomic state, uh, framework statement is about? So it speaks about the performance of the economy. So how our economy is performing? So we, when we want to assess the performance of our economy, then we need to have certain parameters. So here, the macroeconomic framework statement, it uh, when it wants to express or it, when it wants to uh, tell us something about the performance, then broadly it speaks about two broad sectors. One is real sector, another one is government finances. Government finances. So here we shall see what are the various parameters which are present as part of the real sector and the other parameters which are pa present as part of the government finances. So, okay. So before that, before this we saw that uh, macroeconomic framework statement is presented by finance minister to Lok Sabha. So it is mandated under FRBM. So along with annual financial statement, he presents it to Lok Sabha. So under this macroeconomic framework statement, it gives information about the performance of two broader sectors. One is real sector and another one is government finances. So let's see the parameters which are present as part of real sector. So here there are many parameters. So one parameter is we have GDP at market price, next uh, GDP at constant price. So these are the parameters. GDP at market price, GDP at constant price. So we have discussed about GDP, what is GDP and what is GDP at market price and what is GDP at constant price. So all these things in a separate video. So in order to get a detailed information, you, are watch, you can watch our video. Uh, you can watch our previous video. Similarly, uh, another parameter is index of industrial production. Next we have wholesale price index, consumer price index, uh, export at current prices, import at current prices and total trade balance. Next, we have information related to money supply, that is M3 and also Forex reserves, uh, current account balance. So all these parameters which are part of the real sector, so the performance of these parameters is indicated in the macroeconomic framework statement. Now from the exam point of view, what they can ask? So they can frame a question like this, which of the following are part of the macroeconomic framework statement parameters? So we need to know about all of them. So in order to confuse us, they may frame a statement like this. So it may say, they may say that uh, capital account balance is part of the macroeconomics real sector. So if they frame such kind of statement, then that will be wrong. Because here we have current account balance and not capital account balance. So uh, this is the perspective with which we are supposed to prepare for prelims. Similarly in the mains, if a question appears with respect to the what discussion related to macroeconomic parameters, then we should be able to quote all these parameters and also tell how these uh, various parameters of the economy are performing. Okay. Next, this was about real sector and about each and every component, whether it is index of industrial production or wholesale price index or consumer price index or any of the other parameters, we have discussed in detail. Like who releases the data pertaining to wholesale price index? So what are the components of wholesale price index? What is its significance? So all these things we have discussed in separate videos. So you can watch your videos to gain understanding or insights about these various parameters. Next, apart from the real sector, we all uh, the macroeconomic framework statement. It also consists of information related to government finances. So government finances. Here it has information related to revenue receipt. So when, you, when, I, when we say revenue receipt, there is a gross tax 
non tax uh, net tax revenue non tax revenue so the differences between them gross and net we are, we'll be discussing in the forthcoming classes next it also speaks about the revenue expenditure as well next it also speaks about revenue receipt capital receipts so recovery of loans and borrowings these are part of capital receipts it also speaks about capital expenditure it speaks about fiscal deficit it speaks about revenue deficit it speaks about primary deficit okay so the macroeconomic framework statement it also speaks about another important component that is government finances and the government finances consists of all these parameters so all these things we already discussed in a separate video we have a video for fiscal deficit revenue deficit and primary deficit similarly we have discussed about revenue budget and capital budget so in order to understand these terms properly so i'll urge you to watch or revisit those videos once again and uh, what have an understanding of these topics okay but here from exam point of view they can ask you a question like this so which among the following are components of the government finances uh, as part of the macroeconomic framework statement then we should be able to what recall all these various parameters So revenue receipts, capital receipts, total expenditure, revenue deficit, fiscal deficit, primary deficit. Now next, initially we saw that this macroeconomic framework statement, it's a fiscal policy. So when we discuss any topics related to economics, generally we come, come across two terms. One is fiscal policy, another one is monetary policy. So we need to understand the fundamental difference. So when we say fiscal policy, it is a policy which is involved with respect to collection or uh, with respect to the revenue of the government. So when we say revenue of the government, then revenue will come either in the form of tax or non-tax. So if we take tax as an example, then income tax is one example. Now, uh, fiscal policy indicates how much tax we are charging to which person or what is that income slab. So these are all the things, various things they constitute together fiscal policy. So whenever I say fiscal policy, it means I am speaking from the government's perspective. Similarly, whenever I use the word called as monetary policy, I will be speaking from RBI's perspective. Okay. So these are the basic things which we have to keep in mind. So in this class, we discuss about discuss about the macroeconomic framework statement. Similarly, in the subsequent classes, we will be discussing about the other important topics related to economics. For all our further updates, subscribe to our channel and hit on the bell icon. Thank you.